Hi, my name is Robert Lawson. I'm the Jerome M. Fullenweider Chair in the O'Neill Center for Global Markets and Freedom in the SMU's Cox School of Business. I want to talk about the Economic Freedom of the World Index. My co-authors and I have been working on this index since 1997. We rate how free market a country is. We have 141 countries rated and we have data back to 1970. This year's report covers the year 2009. To do well on the index, you need to keep your country's taxes low, your regulations moderate, your property rights secure, your money sound, and most importantly, you need to let people trade freely with themselves in their own country and people in other countries. The big news this year is that economic freedom in the United States continues to fall. For the last decade, the United States rating has been falling. On our 0 to 10 scale, the U.S. rating has fallen by about a full point. This is, big, this is a big change. In fact, for the first time ever, Canada ranks higher than the United States. And it's not just the United States. The global average is falling, too. In the last two years, the global average is falling, and after rising for the last 20, 20 or 30 years. This is really important, because all of the research that we have done and others have done tells us one thing. Economic freedom really matters. If you have more economic freedom, your country will be richer, will grow faster, people will live longer, they'll be happier, and on and on. For more information about the Economic Freedom of the World Report, please visit the O'Neill Center's website at o'neillcenter.org.